Hello dear viewers of STEM TV show. My name is Georg Mogus hosting you STEM TV episodes. Every year STEM power STEM centers in many sub-Saharan nations conduct local science fair to select the best innovations of students projects for the National Science Fair contest. Today we have brought you some of these projects. Stay with us. My name is Fedasa Agarma. Uh, I'm from Bali Rube, uh, Madola University. Uh, I got here uh, automatic plant watering system, uh, which is used for irrigation purposes. So uh, we do got here the container, uh, which used for containing the water, and the pump, which made it by ourselves. And uh, we do got other uh, things like moisture sensor, Arduinos and uh, uh, batteries and the relay also. So uh, this moisture sensor senses the uh, moist uh, amount of the soil. So uh, if we got remove this uh, moisture sensor from the soil, it will pump the water. Then if we get just, it has a delay which uh, contain if the moisture sensor uh, senses the wetness of the soil it will just shut automatically so uh, this is uh, our uh, our project my name is Rora Mohammed I'm from Yoga High School in Afarijin. In Afarijin, and I'm grade 11 student, natural science student. I'm from STEAM Center in Samurai University, uh, by support of Samurai University. This project is known as the Art System. We use to do this project ultrasonic sensor, SMS module, different lights, green, yellow, and red, and the buzzer, and Arduino. This ultrasonic sensor sends it its wave and, and it is reflected to the ultrasonic. When the ultrasonic receives the message, it will send to Arduino. Arduino will send to the slightest and SMS and buzzer. When the river's water is normal, it is beca it's becoming the, the green. The green is that starts to give the sun. The light. When it beca when it's becoming above from normal, it will be blue. And that means blue means you are in danger. Be careful. For the people, this message will be delivered because people know what the color means. They are learned uh, to the colors, all the colors. When the flood starts to feel from the yellow level, it will start, the, the, the red color will start to give the light and the buzzer will give uh, uh, the sound. For this, people have to out from that place. My name is Aftam Mulu. I come from Regina Mara South Gwender in Debra Tabor University, Steam Power. This uh, project is to uh, project uh, in the soil sensor from a pregnant mother uh, surgery machine. Uh, this project is raw materials. Raw materials are uh, uh, it's a syringe, uh, hydraulic system, hydraulic systematically, and uh, in the two, pre, uh, two four pressure and. Uh, uh, wind vane and light and uh, uh, from the uh, raw material or a surgical raw material instruments and the other is a control system this machine are uh, by this side and uh, in another side uh, these pressures are two buttons uh, to move in these objects uh, from these arms are uh, to substitute, substitute uh, one nurse and this uh, these arms are substitutes one uh, nurses, but uh, to control these machines are only one man. To minimize for three or four nurses are to decrease uh, in the type of nurses. And the others are 
two nurses are to look at in this uh, this surgery with calimations are look at in the video call from the button uh, uh, point, points and the other is uh, to a uh, wind winds from in this atmosphere pressure and the high temperatures are from this uh, to control in the this, this switch uh, and protect the atmosphere pressure and decrease in the temperature. My name is Deborah Mikhail. I come from Light Soda University Steam Center and I'm learning Light Soda Comprehensive School. I'm grade 12 student. My project title is Smart Eyeglass with Object Detection for Visual Impaired. And uh, my project can detect various devices or objects and it's used to visual impaired. Uh, it can detect any types of various or detect objects. And uh, for this device, I used Arduino Nano, ultrasonic sensor, buzzer, and a battery. It's comfortable for user and uh, um, it's codable, programmable. Uh, I use various programs, uh, use uh, Arduino language. It's functional prototype, detect various objects and rechargeable. Uh, when uh, battery is loose any time, users are charged and the use are used. Dear viewers, it is our hope that you learned something from these projects presented today. Until we come up with other projects and programs, have a nice day. Goodbye.